Well, right in the heart of Atlanta's old Fourth Ward is a piece of history many people don't realize exists. At the intersection of Hilliard Street and Auburn Avenue is where a revolution took place within the black hair and beauty industry. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates is taking a look back as part of our continuing Black History Month celebration. Well, this area may not look like much. To the left, you have an abandoned building. Then to the right, down the street, a homeless encampment. But in the midst of all of that, you have a historic salon that goes back almost a century. Walked over to that glass window and just start touching the window where it says Madam CJ Walker Beauty Shop. Makeup artist and hairstylist Reese DeForest remembers the day he stumbled upon an original Madam CJ Walker Beauty Shop. Walker pioneered the African-American beauty industry in the late 1800s and early 1900s, manufacturing and selling hair products and franchising salons to build a million dollar empire. Out of respect, I watched that window for 10 years, never interested in the area or the space, just paying homage. On the 11th year, I needed a new location for my hair salon, and I remember that window, so I came back. DeForest began to transform the historic site into his own, but then... This is what I discovered. The blow dryer still works from the 1940s, and actually it's on. And there were other treasures, like clippers, a crimp and iron, and the original, the original flat, iron. flat iron. They were called pullers. So there's a gas stove and you would heat it up. His focus switched to turning the site into the Madam C.J. Walker Museum, even connecting with one of the last living hairstylists from the original salon. So I'm asking Mother Dodd about what it was like back in the day. She tells me that when she started doing hair here in the 1940s, that a shampoo and press for a Negro woman was 25 cents. And the preservation efforts extend through the building to include a portion of the first African-American radio station in the country where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. broadcast many of his sermons and held an office. The corner of Auburn Avenue and Hilliard, where this building sits, would be equivalent to Grand Central Station in New York. This was the corner. Avenathy, Dr. King, first black radio station, millionaire Negro pioneer, Sarah Spencer Washington upstairs, Madam C.J. Walker beauty shop downstairs. So you got two Negro women bawling in the early 1900s in this one building. It's the history is the gift that keeps on giving. Now, later this year, officials say there are also plans to renovate Dr. Martin Luther King's office that was also in this building. Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News. And you know what? I hope after this story, many people, if you go down to Old Fourth Ward, down mm -hmm. by the Beltline, just take a moment to stop by and just remember the history that took place there. Yeah, right there. Madam C.J. Walker, just an incredible legacy. There was a movie a couple years that came out ago uh, called Self Made about mm -hmm. her legacy. So check that out if you haven't. Really incredible. 11 Alive will share more of Atlanta's story surrounding Black History Month. Naima Abdullahi serves as your host for Dream and Disrupt. Black Atlanta's bold movement that special airs tonight right here at 8 p.m. on 11 Alive.